Hello and welcome to this video where we talk about the best internal linking tools in 2024 for SEO. My name is Mark Muller. I run an agency called Ecom Experts. And let's dive right into the first tools here. So starting out with Linkstorm, this was one of my favorite tools overall. And I'll show you the tools that I've tested. So I've looked at eight different tools. The ones on top here I've deemed to be low quality. So you can see here um, Autolink AI, Autolinking AI and Becky um, did not work for me and um, had multiple issues with them. Then there are a couple of runner ups, including Link Scout, SEO Juice and Link Bot. Um, I'll just go through that feedback here just in case you are looking to evaluate these or maybe the owner of these softwares is watching that it might be helpful for them to get some feedback. So with Link Scout, I found that it's too limited in its functions. It just shows you um, the links, basically the link opportunities um, and has an overall a poor user experience. So you will see soon the functions that the other tools offers far more than just showing you opportunities. And the quality of the opportunities also wasn't the best. Um, SEO Juice overall had a good analysis of broken links, whether you're linking to a broken 301 or 404, but had poor quality of internal link suggestions. Many of them were irrelevant. And then in terms of the statistics, um, they tried something interesting where they looked at, right, how does your internal linking compare to internal linking of all other websites that have been added to their software? And you can, you can get an idea of how well you're doing in terms of internal links. That's a cool idea, but it was still quite confusing how it was represented and not quite working well. Well, um, overall, SEO Juice looks like they're trying to do too many things. I think if they focus more on <clears throat> the, just the core that you need for internal linking, that would be better. And then LinkBot, again, confusing interface and you can't process many pages, right? The reason why we want to get these internal linking tools is to actually uh, work with websites that have a really high page count. So let's say an 800 page website, um, you want to build internal links for that. But if the interface is such that you need to go through each page um, manually and add internal links or review them, um, well, then it's not very usable for large websites where you really need an internal linking tool. So um, that's why LinkBot wasn't for me. But let's jump right into um, LinkStorm now. So the LinkStorm interface looks like this. On the dashboard, you can see how many pages were discovered, how many links there are in total, how many issues found and how many opportunities. Um, let's jump into the pages report first. And the tool is quite nice and snappy. It's designed in a very clean way. And it's telling us here about um, how many opportunities were found for that specific page. And then also, um, uh, this is opportunities in, so how many internal links can we build into this page? We can then click that to review that. So here we're looking at an article about silicon breast implants versus saline. And it's suggesting these anchor tags. So here from another page, what are the different types of implants? We could link with the anchor text saline implants tend to feel firmer. And we could link that back to this article, saline versus silicon. So, yep, that's really relevant. Um, I would hit accept here. How that works is you need to put some JavaScript code on your WordPress website, and that will then change um, the anchor text here and insert the link. The in link insertions are not permanent. That's one of my complaints with all of the software um, that they might have a tool in the works, but that would be really nice if these could be permanent. Right now, if you stop paying for the software, the internal link would go away. So that means you're sort of locked in uh, with the amount of credits that you need because over time you would need more and more credits essentially um, as you can keep adding new websites and clients. I think that's something they're looking at improving going forward. Um, but the main thing here is that we want internal link suggestions that are actually highly relevant. So let's look at another one, um, corrective implants. So here we're talking about an article relating to dental, a breast implant cost. And we can see here, it suggested that silicon implants are more expensive. And with silicon, we're linking back again to our silicon versus saline article. 
So quite nice anchor text suggestions here. That's why I really like this tool. And this is the real sort of meat of the tool, if you will. Um, any internal linking tool should be able to do this well. Otherwise, it's really no use to have it in the first place. If most of the suggestions are not good, you might as well go in there yourself and do the internal linking. Um, but here, yeah, all quite relevant and um, very good um, opportunities found for this page. Now, you can also go here into the opportunities tab itself. Um, that looks a little bit different where it shows you all of the opportunities. And you could then filter that to say, OK, I want only a specific page. Let's say, um, do they have anything for men here? Male, men. Uh, I'm not sure if it's found anything there. But the, the idea is also that you're looking here at the relevant scope. So the more relevant it is, the more sort of certainty is there that this is actually a relevant and good internal link. Um, and then here under the depth, you can see in terms of the page folder level, what the depth is, um, how far basically a bot would need to crawl to find that page. And a nice feature is you can click them all and then you can also um, click accept here. And that would actually build all of the internal links for you in bulk. So you don't need to approve them one by one. Again, very handy feature to have. And this, there are going to be some interesting case studies coming out soon um, from LinkStorm where people have done that with massive websites and they had very good success with this tool. Now let's also hop into the issues report um, and we'll compare that head to head with the issues report of another tool here. Um, so you can see the broken links. So here we are linking from the thank you page to a broken gallery and we're linking from this breast asymmetry page to the fat graft page, which are both broken. So we found two broken internal links here that will need to be fixed. And then also plenty of links where we are linking to a page that's ultimately redirected. So it seems like we're linking here from the breast augmentation consult page to the side effects page, which redirects to this final page. So very helpful report because you can see that final redirect target which makes it a lot easier to then go in into the source page and change it to link directly to the final page, which removes that 301 redirect. Um, so again, handy report over here. Let's compare that to our other top contender link vector and see what they have found. So on link vector, we have quite a handy feature here, which is the site overview on the left sidebar. Um, you get some really nice graphs. And in terms of the status code, um, really nice to see that both tools have found exactly the same amount of uh, 300 and 400 errors so broken links and redirected links 14 and 2 um, so that gives us some confidence that these tools can actually do a good job of finding pretty much all things that are broken with our website and we don't have to go through an interface like screaming frog which can be a bit hard to navigate for new seos and maybe new team members um, so this is quite intuitive here um, telling us what's wrong with our website. Now under link vector, we are getting this interface here where we can see all of the link actions and it's telling us the issues found. Um, I struggled a little bit here to actually find these 14 um, redirected URLs. That would be nice to see here. Seems like I can't see that directly. So here what this is showing us is that we should fix the pages that have no internal links. So at the top here is the page, our About Us page. And then below that, it's telling us what we could link um, to from and what the anchor text could be. So it's saying the anchor text here could be fellowship in plastic surgery, um, da, 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 da. I think that's not great. Um, industry leader in breast augment invitation. Yeah, that could be a good internal link. The second one here. Um, this is not a good internal link, not a good link. Um, yeah, it's um, not too on point when it comes to anchor text for this guy, because this page is going to be about a surgeon who does breast implants. So I would want to have mainly his name here as the anchor text. Um, but instead we're using things like um, master of plastic surgery, which is more like a university title that does not seem like, um, logical anchor text to use to link to a page about a person. Um, couple of them, there were no found. So you have to click through here at the top 
to see what opportunities were found. I think that's a bit not super intuitive uh, to me. Again, imagine you have 800 pages. They need to click through 800 of these. Um, for the user interface, that's probably not the best option. Um, but let's go through to review more of the quality here of internal links. So breast implants and cancer, um, that's the page that we have. And again, it's suggesting to link with <coughs> so Society of Plastic Surgeons. That's an organization, so we don't really want to link that organization to our page about cancer. Again, that probably doesn't make sense. Um, breast cancer, this is a good link. So risk of um, ALCL, I don't think that's related to cancer either. Um, could be wrong about that, but overall the quality here, it looks like maybe one or two out of seven are good, um, which is far too little to actually be able to do a bulk um, kind of apply or approval here. So you really need to go through um, and check every single link before you approve that over here because the suggestion quality doesn't seem to be as good as LinkStorm. Um, but let's do this. Let's compare the um, quality here of um, head to head. And to find our saline page, we're going to use this visual map and there should be um, over here. So let's see saline. Uh, control F doesn't seem to work here. Let's check here, saline. Yep, perfect. So we found that page. You can also find this by actually double clicking any of these pages. So if you double click a page, you can see the link graph, which is, this is probably my favorite feature of this tool that I can double click that. I can see where does this page link to and what does it receive links from? So it looks like it receives links from the home page and it links to the contact us page. Um, probably should be linked from other pages as well. So that shows us it's an opportunity here um, that we can um, utilize. But back to our saline page. It looks like this page right now has no links um, that were found. Let's see. So the issues found here on that page are three, two issues. So under link actions, there's also a search. We'll go here and try to find the suggestions for that page. So it has no internal links. We go fix issue. Uh, so it's, it's not allowing me to really go into one page very easily because I have clicked here on fix. Oh no, it does bring that up. Okay, that's good. Perfect. So let's do that again in case you need that. So we search for the page. Um, we click fix issues. We get to the wrong page and we click back and then we go fix. All right. Again, not the best user experience there, but um, we're now here and this tool has found one opportunity um, to link from the breast augmentation page with the anchor text breast augmentation. I find, I find that already problematic because we're saying, okay, this, this page talks about breast augmentation. And then with the anchor text breast augmentation, we're linking to a different page. That's not really a good practice. Um, not even talking about yet that the anchor text doesn't contain saline versus silicone or any of that. Um, yeah, it's, I would say this one is a clear fail in the head to head. Um, so link vector loses here um, pretty hard to the opportunities found by link storm. Um, because we have plenty of silicone and um, saline anchor text that the other tool has found. So yeah, um, let me see if there's any other positive things that I can talk about for link vector. Um, anchor text, we can compare the anchor text features. So we can see here what anchor text was used, how often and where it goes. Um, I guess that's helpful. And we also have a search filter here. <clears throat> uh, we also have an anchor text function here on LinkStorm. 
again i find the the actual way how it's represented a lot better on link storm um, compared to link vector if we compare this head to head this is a lot more cluttered and harder to go through large volumes of data which again that's pretty much what we need to do when we use these types of tools we want to be in a position to view probably 100 rows at a time so the founder of link storm actually absolutely gets that by the looks of it and okay the cool feature here about um link vector is that you can do link replacement so let's say you've for some reason put a wrong internal link on 500 pages um, or a client has changed locations whatever has happened you need to replace a lot of back a lot of links you can use this link replacement tool here to basically search for that link and switch that out on like 200 pages for example uh, that would be quite a handy feature i have yet to check with the support or get an answer from them to see if links here are permanent i'm not sure um, they're using some kind of app password to get into your wordpress as their preferred method to place the links but i don't know if they will be permanent or not because they don't have a plugin i also don't think they will be permanent but um, in either case um, i'll try to update that in the comments if um, link vector can do permanent links but overall i think pretty happy that we found really the best internal linking tool on the market here at the moment in Linkstorm, uh, even though this tool also still has a couple of features to add so if they can add that wordpress plugin which they might start work on soon as well as um, the ability to differentiate between um, no index and do index pages because what could happen here is that you've decided to no index a couple of pages but the tool right now does not seem to be looking for that so it might suggest to you hey that's linked to these pages that are no indexed which would basically be a waste of your link juice because you're funneling power of the website backlinks um, into pages that are not supposed to rank in google so um, having a way here to look at right is this in do index or no index um, would be very helpful and probably also exclude those automatically from the opportunities and perhaps have another column here of um, whether it's do index or no index to be able to um, sort those out and also linking to the um, under issues i would also like to see here um, no index as a new issue and then hey you're linking to a page that's no indexed um, let's fix that but these are pretty small things i think overall stellar job with this tool and um, yeah definitely got my sign of approval um, give it a try i don't think they have anything like an affiliate program um, so too bad for me but <laughs> Um, hope you enjoy the tool either way leave a comment about internal links um, seo automatic um, anything along those lines auto seo internal linking ai internal linking um, that would be fantastic for the youtube algorithm and i hope to see you in the next video thank you